So um, one thing that I think that's important to talk about is there, there's, a, there's developmental dyslexia, there's acquired dyslexia, and then there's dystichia, or the kids that don't learn to read because they haven't been taught the skills. And we're not focusing on students who don't know how to read because they haven't been taught. We're focusing on the kids that there is a cognitive reason for their struggles. Um, Dr. Colhart, can you take a moment to just discuss the difference between developmental and acquired dyslexia? Or Yes, I mean, acquired dyslexia, it refers to a condition where the person has been a completely normal reader, skilled reader, and then suffers some form of brain damage that impairs reading. So that's dyslexia in the sense of poor reading, and it's acquired because the person wasn't dyslexic, could, could be a, was a normal reader until they had brain damage. And there are a number of different patterns of acquired dyslexia that, that are really fascinating. I won't be talking about them today, um, but they're all due to damage to particular, particular parts of the brain. Whereas developmental dyslexia, that refers to people who never became skilled readers in the first place. So that's reading never developed properly. That's the distinction. And we'll just be focusing today on developmental dyslexia and developmental dysgraphia.